right, welcome back to the next video in this tutorial series. We are going to get things started right away. So I'm going to go ahead and start a new project. And I am going to call this Castle Run. I want a 9 by 16 portrait and our viewport size. Let's just deal with that a little later. I just really want this portrait setting right now. We'll create that. And then as far as our, our layout size, this is going to be different for each level. And we're going to start with just level one and build from there. So I'm going to go ahead and make this, uh, let's um, take that down our width. Let's say 1500 and our height is going to be 2000. We can zoom out. So this little dotted line, of course, is our viewport. Uh, we will manipulate that a little later, but we have a lot of room to work with. So that's good. I'm going to go over here to our project properties and I'm going to go ahead and set up our viewport. I'm going to go with a uh, 360 comma 640. Okay. We can play around with that later if we have to. I'm going to get our player sprite in and set up the animations. So if you haven't downloaded the assets yet, there's a link in the description. It goes to a Google Drive where you can uh, download the folders and well, we'll just navigate those as we go along. So I'm going to double click to add an object and that is going to be a sprite and we can just place it wherever. And then I'm going to come down here to the animations panel and I'm going to right click and import frames from strip. Now if you have downloaded the assets you should have uh, you should have these folders right here. One, two, three, four, five. There's a link in the description you can download those from the Google Drive and once you get those downloaded, you should have these five folders. We want to go to the animations and we want the night sprite because this is set up as a strip. So we can hit open and it's going to give us this import sprite strip. So this is going to ask us uh, how many horizontal cells we have and how many vertical cells we have. So going across, I think we had eight. I think it's eight however many uh, frames there were in that strip and then vertical cells it's only one cell high so let's go ahead and import that and we got it right <laughs> so we start with zero and it goes to seven that's eight total sprites and it is evenly cut the strip up to all those frames are right in the center where they need to be I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here I animated this guy myself. I know. Don't be jealous of my art skills. That is a joke. Okay, let's go ahead and set up all these animations. So if we come over here to this animations panel, we're going to right click where it says animation one, and we're going to say duplicate, and then we're going to do that again. So you should have a total of three. So let's go to the first one. And let's rename this uh, ANI, short for animation, underscore run. And then let's select the second one, ANI underscore jump. And then the third one, ANI underscore idle. Okay, select the uh, ANI run. And then we can come down here, and if we look at these frames, this is his run cycle until we get to here. That is his jump frame and that's the idle frame. And we don't want those there. So let's highlight either one of those and hit delete and then delete the other one. So you should have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and should be your running animation. So with this selected up here, it gives us these options. and. I'm going to set speed to 14 and I'm going to check loop and that is all we need for the run animation. Next we can highlight the 
jump animation, we only want the one jump frame, so we need to delete all the others. So let's delete all these frames except for the jump frame. So all you should have is this one frame of him with his feet up and his arms down and it looks like he's stretching. Okay, let's go to idle and let's do the same thing. That's our idle animation, so let's delete the rest of these. All right. And we don't need to do anything to the properties. It's not going to use any of that information at all. All right, let's set up our collision boxes. We can move in a little. Our idle is not going to matter because uh, we won't be playing the game when the idle animation is being run. So let's go to animation run. I'm going to zoom in just a little. Well, I guess I only have those two choices. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go in and move these around. I'm going to move the collision box in and down until it's right about there. So that's going to be looks like 19 and that's going to be looks like 1. So the x and y value for this one and then if we highlight this one that looks like uh, 2 and 1. All right. Let's come down here, do the same thing, move it in to we know that x is going to be 2 and we'll leave that at 42. That's his height. Let's highlight this one and what, what do we have? That Was that 19? Yeah. Okay. So it should look something like that. Once we have that set up, let's just right click on any one of these nodes and say apply to whole animation. So now all of our frames have the same collision box. All right. Looks good. Let's go to jump. Let's move these in. To the right, let's say one looks good. And then he can come in to looks like 18. We'll move his X into 18 and move this one over to one. So that should be good for jump. And then the idle doesn't need anything. I'm going to now go to the image point and this one's going to be real easy. If you have a number pad on your keyboard, it is 2. That is the bottom middle key on the number pad. If we just hit 2, it'll go to the bottom middle. Or, of course, you can come over here to Origin, right-click, quick assign, and it'd be uh, bottom. Okay. Now, with that set right there, I'm going to right-click on Origin and say Apply to All Animations. So all the animations in this sprite are going to have that same origin point. Select that, and we can see that it is on every single frame of the animation. All right, our player is set up. We can exit out of that and rename it. I'm just going to call this uh, player. There we go. And if we zoom in, we can see him there. Let's drag him over here for right now. All right. So the idea of this game is that since jump is your only control, in most cases, the level design is going to be, uh, it will force the player to get to higher ground. So most of our levels are going to start at the bottom of the layout, and you will jump through the level, climbing your way to the top, which is where the, the goal, the end goal will be. So I'm going to leave him down here at the bottom. Let's go over here to Object Types, right-click, and create a subfolder. And I'm going to call this Sprites. And we're going to have a lot of other subfolders in here. So I'm going to go ahead and create another subfolder. If you right-click on the Sprite subfolder, Add New Subfolder. And I'm going to call this Objects. And that is where our player is going to go. Drag him into there. So while we're here, let's go ahead and make a few more subfolders while we're here. So right click, add a subfolder. Uh, I know we're going to need one for buttons. 
gonna add another one. HUD and keep going and add another one and call it uh, our levels and add uh, let's see one more and call it particles all right I think that that is going to do it for the sprites and the sprite subfolders for right now and now we have our character created and we can start adding some collisions so we can uh, set his controls and animations up in the event sheets. So we will do that in the next video and I will see you there. Oh and by the way, don't forget to save your project.